Hi, it's Paula here. Welcome to another video where I encourage people painting no matter what. In today's video, I'm celebrating poinsettia season. They are blooming everywhere and the inspiration for this painting. Since Christmas is knocking on the door, I thought poinsettias were perfect to transmit the holiday spirit and also they are so beautiful. I hope you enjoy watching this painting process, so let's get started. I'm starting with a light green color on the center of the flower and I'll let it dry before adding more details. Since I'm using this 100% cotton paper from Legend Paper, it takes more time to dry than my Arteza watercolor pad, so I need to be careful. As poinsettias are red bright flowers, this painting will have lots of layers until I achieve the final color. If you pay attention to the petals of them, you will notice that the petals have a leaf shape and because of it, I'll be using a paper clip to add the petals wrinkles. Now I'm painting the other flower and I'll be alternating between the two because I need to let it dry before adding the other layers. If you try to add another layer of paint while the previous one is still wet, you would disturb and move the colors all around. So let it dry is an important step to this painting. Another tip for this painting is using the paper clip to create the petal wrinkles while the paint is still wet. The water makes the paper softer, so you can create the wrinkles without tearing the paper. If you forgot to use the paper clip while the paint is still wet, you can add just water to the petal and then using the paper clip. So, I keep painting all the petals, varying the value of the colors and making the petals that are behind a little dark. You can take your time to do it, because it can be tricky painting overlapping petals. Changing the values can give more dimension to the flowers and make them appear more realistic. Now it's time to paint the leaves. I'm using just two colors, a light and a dark green. I'm also varying the values to create a more interesting effect. It's also time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This month I'll be posting more Christmas stuff and I'll bet you like it. So please join the family and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any new video. I think I'm gonna use this painting to decorate my house for the holiday. Let me know in the comments down below if you were also decorating your house and what are your favorite items to do it. I'm kind of obsessed with Christmas decor lately. I'm also adding another type of leaves to the composition to create a more complex composition. The pine leaf is super easy to do. Just flick your brush to create the needles and you can add as many as you want to the composition. I added because I thought I needed something light in this composition but be careful when you are moving to the next leaf and don't place your hand over the wet paint. Thank you. 
So I'm adding the final details to the point areas and getting ready to the final touches. For the berries, I'm using another palette called Koi Watercolors by Sakura, which has a beautiful golden metallic paint that I'll be using to paint the berries. Just because it's Christmas, why not? I'm also adding a gold accent to the petals of the poinsettias just to make it more festive. And that's it for this video. I hope you all can celebrate and enjoy the Christmas vibes this month. Put some home decor at your place and also paint with me. I've been sharing lots of Christmassy stuff on my Instagram watercolor by Paula and you can see much more by following me there. If you try any of my tutorials, tag me there and I will share your beautiful creations in my stories. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!